Is that a meat stew? No, don't talk. Meat stew? Stew? So welcome back to Megan's Menu, and I will tell you what's on our menu for today. Actually, for this video, I'm going to be doing five crock-pot, easy, and simple, cheap meals. Okay, so today I'm going to be making, I wrote it down on my chalkboard over here, crock-pot taco chicken, and here's... So you're going to need chicken, two pounds of chicken. This is tenders, it doesn't matter. So about two pounds of boneless, skinless chicken. A can of corn, a few little tomatoes. I'm gonna to use half of this jar of 24 ounces, so I'm gonna use 12 ounces of salsa. Salt and pepper, taco seasoning, and some juice from a lot. You never oh know. It looks pretty good, huh? It looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. So here it is. It's all finished. It only takes about two hours on high in the crock pot or until the thickest part of the chicken is 165 degrees Fahrenheit. So. Also, I'm going to put out some sour cream, and you could put some black onions on here, and definitely want to put some cheese on here, and possibly onions. So anyway, see the pieces of chicken in here, and salsa and corn. Anyway, this is going to be delicious. And I have rice at the bottom, so we put it over top. Looks really good. Tonight's crock pot dinner is going to be my crock pot beef stew and these are all the ingredients that I'm going to be using. So I have three to five medium russet potatoes, three to five large carrots, a few small grape tomatoes, two boxes of the beef broth. Of course you can make your own but I just have that. And I have just a pound, just over a pound of the beef stew. Salt and pepper, onion powder, two teaspoons, garlic powder, oregano, and later I'm going to use cornstarch, and I think that's it. I've already washed and scrubbed my vegetables. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is put my flour. I have about, ugh, I don't know, I have a little bit of flour in this bowl. So I'm just going to put it in a bigger bowl and toss my meat in that, and then start cooking it on the stove with some hot oil. I'll put salt and pepper in my flour mixture. And of course, I've already had to change my battery because it already died. Annoying. So I'm just going to coat the meat and then I'm going to put it on my preheated skillet with olive oil. And I'm just going to cook it. And when I, I'm going to brown it on all sides and it's going to take about two minutes, you know, for each side or whatever. So. salt and pepper. So I'm just going to pour my brown beef into the crock pot, the crock, and then I'm going to prepare my 
potatoes and carrots and all that to also cook for a little bit on the stove and put that in here as well. Oh, I just killed my freaking toe. I have my slow cooker on low right now while the meat sits in there, so. just, you know, kind of crisping these up in olive oil for about, I don't know, 10-ish minutes for potatoes and carrots. Now this is a bigger amount because I have a large family, but what I like to do to save time and make it easier sometimes is just put them in the oven on about 400 for about, I don't know, 15-ish minutes. I'm not cooking all the way through because obviously they're going to be in the crock pot all day. I mean, of course, you could just throw this all in the crock pot and not have to go through all this, but I like to cook it in some olive oil for about, I don't know, eight to 10 minutes and crisp up the sides. I just think it gives it more flavor and depth and it's just, you know, it's just the way I've always done it. I'm just going to add, cut these little tomatoes I have in half and add those to it. I don't understand why crock pot wires are so short, but they are. Now I'm just gonna finish it off by adding the rest of my stuff. So now I'm going to add my two boxes of beef broth and I'm gonna add my seasonings later on. Okay, this takes forever. Also adding two teaspoons of this. The food still has about an hour or so left, but I'm going to put my seasonings in, which is one teaspoon of onion powder, two teaspoons of garlic powder, and two teaspoons of oregano. And then obviously I've put salt and pepper in it too, so. And then in a little bit, I'll do the cornstarch so I can thicken it up. Oh, is there the meat to do? No, don't talk. Meat stew, stew. So now I'm going to do my cornstarch. I'm going to do two tablespoons of cornstarch, two tablespoons of water. I'm going to mix it up and then I'm going to mix it into my crock pot. Okay, so now I'm just going to cover it back up. Looks no, pretty good. So here is my second crock pot recipe I am going to be doing and it's crock pot mac and cheese and here is everything that it requires and what the uh, measurements are. So I'm going to have five cups of milk and two pounds of Alba macaroni. Um, this block of cheese which is eight ounces and then I'm going to do half of this cheese melt and then it'll end up being 16 ounces. Some salt and pepper, two cans of evaporated milk and a stick of butter. You're gonna drink that? Oh, seriously, can you turn on the light, please? It's gonna be interesting. Happy, happy birthday yesterday and today, but you got Winslin, and now you got even Kyle Goose and you guys are both close to 40. So now I'm just going to throw all my ingredients inside the crock pot and then turn it on high. There 
goes the light. I mean, seriously, I don't get it with this stupid lights. Not just put a battery Did in it there. die or what? I think it's ready. It's totally ready. Get your plates, kids. Gotta hurry real quick before something else dies. What are you listening to, Maddie? It sounds moronic. Random videos, maybe. Oh, yeah, that's exactly what I mean. <laughs> Was it a cow? It's Maddie. <laughs> I know the cow. Matt, Maddie's not a cow, but she is. All right, so I'm just gonna put the this in the crock pot and put the top on on high. The For end. seven hours. For 500 hours. Nothing. Oh, I have no freaking batteries. Son of a snatch and butt. Okay. Oh my goodness. It looks so delicious. Really like trees. Really creamy. I'm making crock pot cheesy ranch potatoes and here's all the ingredients and everything that you'll need. And there goes my light again. Seriously? Oh, yeah. Ugh. So I have, let's see, this is about two pounds of potatoes, one and a half to two pounds of ground beef, a can of evaporated milk, about a cup of corn, cream of mushroom, chicken, potato, whatever. I have cream of chicken and potato, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna use about a fourth of a box of this. Ranch packet and taco seasoning. So I'm gonna first peel my potatoes and chop them up and put them in the crock pot. Now I'm just gonna cut up this cheese melt or Velveeta type cheese into little squares. To my bowl, I'm just literally going to add the rest of the ingredients minus the potatoes and cheese. And then I'm just gonna stir this around and then I'm gonna put my potatoes in the crock pot, pour this over it, and then top it with my cheese, my cheese squares. I'm just gonna throw them. So I also greased my crock pot too. So after I'm done, I'm going to turn this on high, probably for four hours, but I'm gonna check it around three hours to make sure. So tonight I'm making the slow cooker tortellini with chicken and alfredo sauce and it's very, very simple. I'm Tonight I'm just using a can of chicken because that's what I have ready. Then I have all my things on the table. I have this big bag of tortellini I'm going to be using. 
This is a cup of milk and a cup of heavy cream. I have salt and pepper, garlic powder, oregano. Like I said, I'm using a can of chicken tonight. We have all kinds of different chicken, just not cooked. And this is a fast, slow cooker thing. So anyway, this is about a cup or so of Parmesan and I have two jars of this Alfredo sauce. So I'm just gonna start with putting all of my, putting the Alfredo sauce and the chicken and the milk and heavy cream and everything else except this so I can heat that up first. So we just added some water to the jar to get all of the sauce out of it. It's still so creamy. gonna pour the tortellini in my uh, crock pot and let it cook on low for about 25 minutes or until they are all tender and ready to go. So it's all done and I tried it and it's delicious just like I remembered and this one is a very very quick crock pot slow cooker it's not very slow today it's very easy to just throw all the stuff in and I mean this stuff literally cooks in like three minutes anyway but so good make sure you try this it's totally simple This is slow cooker ranch chicken and I'm going to be using one cup of sour cream, half a cup of heavy cream, half a cup of Parmesan cheese, one ranch packet, two teaspoons of oregano, two teaspoons of garlic powder, half a teaspoon each of salt and pepper, and at the end I'll put some bacon bits on it and I'm going to be using some boneless skinless chicken. So in my bowl, I'm just going to place everything in it, minus the chicken and minus the bacon bits. So 
So in my grease crock pot, I'm gonna place my chicken. And then I'm just going to cover it and turn it on low. I made some linguine to go along with it. So this crock pot meal or slow cooker, whatever that I'm making tonight is a Betty Crocker recipe, but I'm improvising on certain things. I'm changing them and I'm definitely changing the amounts, but this is what I'm making. Slow cooker cheesy chicken enchilada pasta and we'll have it linked below for the actual correct recipe, but this is improvisions, improvising by me. My ingredients here on the table and that is Enchilada sauce, cream cheese, a package of, a packet of chicken taco seasoning, my noodles, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, some chicken and cheese. Now the recipe calls for like raw chicken and you cook it in the crock pot. I already have cooked chicken so this is going to take much less time. The first one I'm going to do is I'm going to put the chicken in my crock pot first and then shred it since it's already cooked and then add my sauce packet and the seasonings and mix it around and cover it for a little bit. Okay, I don't know if my camera's on, but I just poured in the enchilada sauce. I'm just gonna stir this around and then cover it for a little bit on high. Since the chicken is cooked, I'm just gonna heat it through. Meanwhile, I'm just going, I'm over at my stove. I'm going to cook up my pasta. I'm just going to put the cream cheese and the shredded cheese in there and I won't be able to stir it that much, but then I'm going to cover it back up and let it heat up. Okay, so it's all done. It looks delicious. I'm going to try it. There's a lot of chicken in here. It's so good. Mmm. Mmm. That is really good. Seriously, try this. Betty Crocker and we'll have it linked below.